Selling snake oil, a deadly business model. The case of Dr. Pierre Corey. Spotting a snake oil salesman seems easy in hindsight, but the modern snake oil salesman has learned to hide themselves. Hopefully the story of ivermectin and a few of its peddlers will help you spot the patterns. So you can identify the snake oil salesman of the future. Pattern one, look like a genius. A real life doctor house that says, Here's a quote. As I round on service, there are usually eight to 10 people following me of varying disciplines and seniority. I am like Dr. House, followed by a very large group of ducklings. Pattern two, over promise, under deliver. He testified at Ron Johnson's hearing, saying ivermectin was a miracle for COVID-19. The miraculous effectiveness of ivermectin it basically obliterates transmission of this virus. If you take it, you will not get sick. Spoiler, he got sick. The evidence he had in support of this miracle was not miraculous. The first kind of evidence offered is ecological, using case counts in Chiapas, Mexico, to claim ivermectin benefits individuals because it's distributed there. What else might explain a difference in case counts? According to this report from UCSF called Mexico's Response to COVID-19, a case study, the states of Oaxaca and Chiapas at the bottom of the graph with the lowest excess mortality rates have experienced challenges recording deaths. These are also poor rural states in southern Mexico with low testing rates. These figures must be interpreted with caution. He offered in vitro evidence, which is not enough. And the clinical evidence that existed was bad. One study cited by Corey was withdrawn. A medical student noticed the introduction section of the paper appeared to have been almost entirely plagiarized. And when people looked further into the data, they found that a lot of the patient records are obvious clones of other records. What followed after that was more retractions of more of these papers. Studies with favorable ivermectin results, like Corey's, were getting retracted. And on top of that, the publication of numerous studies that did not show benefit. This is a review from the Cochrane Library. Based on the current very low to low certainty evidence, we are uncertain about the efficacy and safety of ivermectin used to treat or prevent COVID-19. The completed studies are small, and few are considered high quality. Several studies are underway that may produce clearer answers in review updates. Overall, the reliable evidence does not support the use of ivermectin for treatment or prevention of COVID-19 outside of well-designed, randomized trials. The effect of early treatment with ivermectin among patients with COVID-19. We did not find a significantly or clinically meaningful lower risk of medical admission to a hospital or prolonged emergency department observation. The snake oil salesman is reluctant to accept the evidence. After the WHO said you should only study it. After the studies show it doesn't work. After the FDA says don't use it to treat or prevent COVID-19. It's June of 2022, and Dr. Corey still promotes ivermectin. The snake oil salesman knows marketing. The FLCCC Alliance. Your nonprofit marketing department. Here's a slide they shared on their website. FLCCC drove ivermectin prescriptions up. Um, zoomed in onto that graph, you can see see the sales spike up shortly after those events. This is a towel you can buy at the FLCC store. What do they sell you besides ivermectin? Consultations. Here's Dr. Corey's telemedicine service where he'll charge you $350 and $400. Any press is good press. Thousands of anti-vaxxers marched against mandates on the National Mall. Get political far-right anti-vax to D.C. I'm gonna make sure those federal agencies don't stop me from prescribing. 
They tell us to vaccinate ourselves endlessly and boost ourselves, even though that single strategy has failed, is failing, and will continue to fail. It must stop. Anti-vaxxers with Corey, Robert Malone, Richard Urso, Aaron Cariati. So the FLCCC and Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s group, um, Children's Health Defense, they have, they're partnering up. Here's another great slide from the FLCCC. This time we have Elizabeth Mumper giving a presentation apparently, and she's the medical advisor for our children's health defense. Here's a great slide title. It says, how can you eat dirt if you are wearing a mask? Good morning, CHD. We have two snake oil salesmen for you on the show today. Anti-vaxxers and snake oil salesmen. Together happy, happily together. Twitter is a great way to spread your nonsense. So here we have Dr. Corey calling them toxic jabs. Yikes. There's a logic here because denigrating vaccines helps the unproven and or worthless alternative sell. And now you can sell people post-vaccination visits. Now that you've scared them sufficiently about the vaccines, you can sell them a new thing. Because if you think there is a perfect solution out there that actually doesn't work, then you don't take the solutions that do. What are the results for early? Do we have so uh, early around 80% reduction uh, and sometimes even higher in, in, in the hospitalization and death? Turns out I got COVID. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin, z -Pak, uh, prednisone, everything. Great. Instead of getting vaccinated preemptively, you can go and buy the kitchen sink. And that's what Pierre Corey wants to sell you, the kitchen sink. I direct your attention to the bottom where he recommends a whole lot of supplements. And that brings us to the final pattern, selling the unregulated stuff. What distinguishes the supplement industry from actual medicine prescribed by doctors is the lack of regulation. A lot of people think that these companies have to prove their safety or efficacy to the FDA before they can sell it. That's not true. In general, the FDA can only review a product's safety after it's on the market. The barely regulated Wild West is the natural habitat of the snake oil salesman. Well, with some patterns in mind, you can now appreciate the business model for what it is, a marketing scam.